Daniel. No. Castillo and away we go. Wow, running into a jab with Viola. Includes the, the length of his arms. He's a forceful little guy. He's a brawler. He's tough. Ayala in the red trunks is a give-and-take fighter, and he's really going after the champion here in round number one. And the champion trying to do some counter-punching. He's only been down once in his life. Order of the two men got to the finals of the Budweiser tournament here last March. Finished with a $10,000 bond is his handler. Ricardo Maldonado, green and pink trunks. feeling out round, but right now than Ayala, because I his version of the feeling out round. Good left jabs, followed by the right as an end knockout. Home fighting fight. He's not aggressive enough. His hand is strong. And as we say about some athletes, oh, nice jab by Ayala. Started this one fast, I would say. fighting when he was set. Barrera, the, the title holder, Mexican national champion. This bout is for the Mexican super flyweight. Managers like uh, and had a, a, a following. You've had champions. Fight. Same with Ricardo Maldonado. He's had this is the only guy. And all these kids from brought him under his wing, brought him here to the great... Didn't come in the same car, though. No. They won't go home and they won't be on speaking terms. One of them will be very popular when he gets back I rather think that one day he can be the champion of most anything he wants. At 18, he will fight, which was the first week of October. He won it last April. Sounded better for the champion. Ayala throws it on and counter punching now beautifully as by Despite the fact he's eight years younger than Great size, uh, Ruben, for a... And we still have that height advantage. Very good. You get inside. Oh, all right. Uh, you see, win that round also this far. Nice left hand scored by the challenger. Got a little guy, I'll tell you that. He likes to work the body. Not very good defensively, they tell me. Exactly. When you don't move that head, Chick, you get hit quite often. He's lost his last two fights. And here he is against the Mexico, the Mexican super flyweight fighters. Wants to make the most of this opportunity. These things come along only once in a lifetime. Oh, what a great right hand. Ayala took it right in the jaw. He's, oh, he's, hurt. Hurt. he's, he's trying to hold on. That uppercut hurt him, Chick. So did that slash to the right jaw. Not from about that. No, that was my that from here. Oh, another upper guy, number three. And this he doesn't know where he's at. He knows where he is now. <laughs> number three. And calmly, patiently, Ferrara stood over there and waited. Boy, is he some 18-year-old. Look at Ayala fighting. Man, he's fighting now for his life. Those, those uppercuts are oh, very hurting. Him. He just got one to the gut that really hurt him. Look at Ferrara. It doesn't look like the fight started yet. His hair's still intact. Ayala's going to go down here again if he leans back just a little bit more. That he is not noted for defense, and boy, he took some beating in this round, and he's fighting back, showing the heart of a lion. As I said, when you're a great manager like Maldonado, great fighters come right to you. Look at this. Now the cut opens up again in the the doctor say it was in the corner of the eye, but uh, perhaps you're right. He's going to fall forward here in a second. At the end of round number three. I didn't think we'd go. Look, I'll tell you one thing about this little guy, Esteban Ayala. That's why I say he's tough. He's a brawler. Look at him fight back near the end of the round. Sure, he takes style. He's been down. He's cut. And that's what he did. Well, after that first knockdown, Chick, I think he's going to cover him up. Is going to come naturally. Okay, he just looks so calm. Look there. Looks like he's waiting in line. 12 rounds. Barrara dominates in every section of it. Best wrestling he did tonight. But it isn't any better either. Oh, yeah, oh. Had 
did it. That's it. Right hand. It's all over. Here you set it up. See that jab? That, there's that uppercut afterwards. He threw a right hand land around the Mexican super flyweight champion.